Hey, hello my YouTube friends, how are you doing? Where am I now? I am in West Vancouver and this video is about all the houses are getting demolished and going to be rebuilt and this is the trend happening now and usually all the new tenants here are I can say mainly from uh, mainland China so as you know in mainland China uh, the cities are pretty crowded and pretty dense people live in small apartments and the price is going higher and higher not saying that here is not uh, going higher and higher but here it's still going higher and higher but nowhere is near as over in China so you would see here all the old houses single story small little humble houses owned by you know seniors that uh, live here um, are disappearing because they are selling uh, the houses and the land is really important now so the house aren't really you know the houses aren't really valuable but the land is really going up in price well so these uh, the land is really expensive so some parts of the area still have a really big piece of land and uh, and it's it's selling for millions and on the news just a few days ago I don't know do you guys see it uh, a house in West Vancouver got burned down so it will be like a tractor but actually the landlord or the owner of the house didn't really care because the house wasn't worth much anyways but the land was worth millions so the end of the deal he'll still list uh, he will still list the piece of land minus the burnt down house for just as much or even more because of the inflation you know it's going everything's going higher every year so residents live in West Vancouver it's really bad because they live in a small house they, they, they've been staying here for like 30 40 years I mean every year they are, the government will assess your the city will assess your uh, value of the house and uh, your house the value will go higher and higher so every year your property tax will go higher and higher until you go bust <laughs> and it's kind of uh, unfortunate but I guess that's how the city gets money for all the public funding schools community centers and everything like that as you see on my right hand side there's a house just listed for sale and this house would easily go for 10 million 12 million Canadian so maybe cost 10 million US and it's a brand new house on the corner of a street here and they just listed it like I think a week ago I've been noticed because they're just doing the final touches and uh, guess who would buy it uh, I would say 95% will be a mainland Chinese guy he'll come over and just uh, snap up the, the house so this has been the case for the past like six seven years so this is the new trend here so people call this full of people from Hong Kong but I wouldn't say people from Hong Kong now that's coming here to snap out our houses it's made it's people from the mainland China and they are managing to move the money out of China and invest on the property right here in Canada plus they want their kids uh, for better get education a better air and uh, better opportunities for everything here and, and which is a very good environment for kids to be brought up here you know learning English and all that and after and usually after the cases when they graduate the kids they would usually go back to China to find a career back uh, right in mainland China and it's pretty common now so if you guys go to Shanghai Beijing you would see kids that can speak perfect English and uh, and they'll be starting up a career starting up a business working for an IT company a fashion whatever and you will see them in you know Shanghai Beijing maybe even uh, Guangzhou something like that and which is it's awesome because you get to uh, learn from you know two sides of the culture and, and make the best out of it well people here the local peoples won't get upset at all even people from North America I mean from down in the states south of the border Seattle San Francisco Los Angeles Chicago on the East Coast, New York, you know, Florida, because they won't really get upset. 
because they have been living in this house for a long time and the prices suddenly just went up like three, four times in the value. So my friends, the, the Caucasian friends, they would sell out and move further away from the city. And when they sell out and they make this big amount of profit, they don't have to pay any tax because that's their primary home. So for their primary home, when they sell it, they don't have to pay any capital gains tax or anything. So they would just take that money, buy a you know, size, you know, buy a smaller apartment or a house away from the city and they can keep the cash. And uh, lots of them actually are very happy. And some of them, you know, took the money and retired early. So I think maybe, can you call this a win-win situation? That uh, the mainland Chinese and Asian people are buying snapping real estate. So it's for you guys, you know, give me a comment below and tell me, you know, what do you, what, what's your thoughts on this? Well, so people, I mean, my Canadian friends here that live in Vancouver, people have sold from Coquitlam, they sold from downtown Vancouver, they sold in West Vancouver, North Shore, and they have been moving south, really close to the south. So they, they're moving to Maple Ridge. Even Maple Ridge now, the price is going high. Even Surrey is going high. So people are moving to Hope, the city of Hope. And it's kind of, it's really far away. But the prices are still untouched. And uh, it's really, you can get a really good deal buying uh, houses or property down there. The property prices are high, but there's a new problem facing the mainland Chinese. Because lots of money, they, they just have the Chinese government, the CCP has to clarify why is there so much money leaving China. And uh, for your information, if you have a large amount of money, you can't freely take money out of China. So nowadays I've met with some official that, that are officially uh, working in uh, North America. And I, I had a good dinner with them last night and Talked a, talked a lot, learned a lot from what are they doing here. So the main thing is they would love to find out that how does the mainland Chinese get such a huge amount of money uh, overseas and buying real estate. Uh, so I think people might have to, uh, I don't know, there's something going on, I think. But I, I kind of learned behind the scenes uh, what's going on because you know the property prices as you guys probably know it's it's gone nuts it's gone crazy you know well did you see the news uh on new zealand property so now in new zealand it's official that you can't even buy any properties in new zealand because the price is too high too many foreigners are buying the properties and local residents unable to afford any you know land or houses so now there's a ban in effect that all foreigners uh, in, in New Zealand aren't allowed to buy any property. So what do you think about that, you know? Are, are you for it or against it? Uh, which is very interesting, you know? So I just talked about the good points here in North America that, that the prices of their property is going up. But in New Zealand, I guess it's a disadvantage for them because kids at uh, younger ages uh, graduate from college are struggling to buy any property for themselves so that's another issue so i think it's a like a you know balancing out that what's going on so this is a problem that everybody's you know looking at now well guys uh, hope you have enjoyed my video on all the crazy houses here and all the mansions man the the property you know quarter acre lot half acre lot the mainlanders chinese they love to build from you know like carpet and there's hardly any more garden left and it ha also has been a issue you know well i hope this video has been educational for you guys and it's definitely uh educational for me and it was you know it's very interesting to learn all these facts so relax enjoy like and share and i'll see you somewhere around the world take care guys bye